So the Simpson method consists of, so if we have a, uh, given function and we have discretized our interval. Okay. Let's make something more close to this. Into so uh, n plus one points. So I have x1, x2, x3 x4, x5, etc. x6. Yeah, we consider x7. This is n plus 1. This is 1. Okay. So basically, you choose these three points, and so x2 x1, x2, x3, you construct the interpolation polynomial passing through these three points. x3, x4, x5, you construct the, inter the Lagrange interpolation polynomial passing through these three points. The x5, x6, x7, and then you construct the interpolation polynomial passing through these three points, and then you integrate under the Lagrange polynomial, which gives a better result than the trapezoid. Trapezoid is a first order polynomial, you can consider this line here, you consider a second order polynomial. So it should be more accurate than the trapezoid. Okay, so basically you approximate the integral as the sum of, I will note it's i to i, okay, with i going from one till n over two. So the n is the number of sub interval, okay. Like I already, already defined it. So if you have n plus one point, you have n, plus n sub interval, and then you have n over two here, okay, Lagrange polynomial. So for example, here seven points, we have six sub interval and we have three here Lagrange polynomial. So where the i to i is the integral of, I will note it p to i here, okay, dx, between here x i x two i minus one till x two i plus one. So p two i is the interpolation polynomial constructed upon x to i minus 1, f of x to i minus 1, x to i, f of x to i, x of 2i plus 1, f of x to i plus 1. Okay. So, we know to uh, construct this polynomial, okay? So basically the polynomial is here. So it's f of x to i minus one by the Lagrange polynomial to i minus one plus f of x to i by the Lagrange polynomial to i plus f of x to i plus one, okay? Multiply by the Lagrange polynomial to i plus 
where here L2i minus 1 is x minus x2i multiplied by x minus x2i plus 1. Okay. Divided by x2i uh, minus 1 minus x2i. Okay. Yes, x to i minus one minus x to i plus one. So this is h minus h, sorry. And this is also, this is minus two h. So you have here one over two h squared x minus x2i multiply by x minus 2i plus 1. And the same thing here for l2i, etc. You have x minus x2i minus 1 multiply by x minus 2i plus 1 divided by here. So it's x2i minus x2i minus 1, x2i minus x2i plus 1. So this is here h, this is here minus h. So you get 1 over minus h square. Okay, x minus x to i minus one multiply by x minus x to i plus one. Doctor, so all yeah, how method mahtuta bil PowerPoint? Hala, I had the it's like uh, uh, I didn't include it still, but uh, okay. and I will send you, I, I made the video. Uh, I made, uh, I re-recorded the video with uh, all the presentation. So I will send you the uh, the video. Okay, I put it on YouTube. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you might see a lot of people. I bet, 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 so, um, x minus 2i minus 1, x minus 2i divided by x 2i plus 1 minus x 2i x uh, minus 1 here. Yeah. I plus one minus x two i. So this is h. This is two h. So it's x minus x two i minus one. Two i. Divided by two h squared. Type. Akal Okay, so you construct. This is the Lagrange interpolation poly. Uh, the polynomial. Okay, so you construct this polynomial. You get the expression for the polynomial, and then you need to integrate. So the i to i is the integration of this polynomial. Or from x to i minus one till x to i plus one. Hala, but the presentation, ma feel derivation, because derivation can show for the video, or you must take notes come in, okay? So, the uh, presentation, I just put the, the, the result in, the final result, so you can know what's important, plus uh, all the derivation and things like that, you can find them in the videos. And in the course, yeah. 
So uh, you integrate this from, okay, this polynomial, for example, here from x1 to x3, from x3 to x5, etc. Okay, and from x to i minus 1 till x to i plus 1. And now you will get the expression. The, the calculation is a little bit long, so I will not do all the calculation. But what you should get is x to i plus 1 minus x to i minus 1 over 6 multiply by f of x to i minus 1. Okay, plus four f of x two i plus f of x two i plus one. This is what you get. This is h over three. Okay, because this is two h. This is h over 3 f of x to i minus 1 plus 4 of f of x to i plus f of x to i plus 1. Okay, so now so this is the the area under the polynomial constructed upon the points x to i minus one, x to i, x to i plus one. Now you need to sum this to get. So if you have n points, you need to sum. In fact, okay. So from i equals one till n over two, you need to sum this quantity here. F of x to i minus one, score of x to i plus f of x to i plus one. Okay. Now, these quantities, so you have three sums here. These two sums, as you see, this is odd numbers, odd indexes. This is odd indexes, and this is even indexes. Now, we can group these two on this, the same form by making a change of variables. So here, if I put I prime is equal to I minus one. Okay. So I would get the sum from Uh, wait just a moment. Let me see what they did here. Okay, so Uh, we can put out before like doing that we can so I will express this okay so h over 3 the sum of i equals 1 till n over 2 f of x to i minus 1 plus 4 times the sum of i equals 1 till n over 2 f of x to i plus 
the sum of i equals 1 to the n over 2 f of x to i plus 1. Now here I will uh, I will put out of the sum the first the first term so h over three f of x one okay I will put it out of the sum okay so the sum becomes from if I put out of the sum this okay uh, the first term so let's put it here so the sum becomes from two till n over two. And here, if I put uh, out of the sum, okay, the, um, the last term here, here, okay, so f of xn, f of xn, uh, then I will go here to n over 2 minus 1, okay. So, now I can make the change of variables. So here if I put I prime is equal I minus one. Okay, so the sum here will go from sum I equals I prime equals one. Okay, till N over two minus one F of X two I prime plus one, okay, plus four times the sum i equals one till n over two f of x to i plus f of x n plus the sum of i equals one, uh, x n plus one, excuse me here, it's not f of x n, x n plus one here. This point here is xn plus 1, because when it's over 2, okay, the last point is xn plus 1 and not xn, so here is okay, xn plus 1, plus the sum of uh, f of x to i plus 1, and i is to the n over 2 minus 1. So you see this is the same sum, right? Okay. Doesn't matter if this index is i prime here and here it's i, it's the same sum. All right, so I can regroup this finally. So it's f of x1 plus f of xn plus, okay, uh, two, times. two times the sum of i equals one till n over two minus one of f of x two i plus one plus four times f of x two i. Right, so now this expression uh, is just the sum, sum i equals one till n over two minus, uh, till n over two. Okay, so now this expression here uh, looks complicated, but it's not. Uh, it's easy to remember. So it's h over 3, the first point, f of the first point, plus f of the, first, uh, the last point, plus the last point. This is xn plus 1 point, plus, okay, uh, 2 times the odd term and plus four times the even term okay so this is how you can remember this expression okay and basically the difference comes from here because the odd term as you can see they are in the center of the polynomial where the even, uh, the even are in the center of the polynomial where the odds are here at the extremities of the polynomial. So, uh, so it's h over three, the first point plus the last point, plus two times the odd terms, plus four times the even term. Okay, this is the odd, this is the even. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, now uh, uh, implementing a uh, iterative approach for for this method is not so uh, as easy as uh, the rest. Okay, it's not as I mean um, like direct as. Uh, for the rectangle and the trapezoid. So we will not uh, discuss here an iterative approach for the Simpson. I know the mishkit about Simpson is when you double the points, okay, the odd term became becomes the even term. Okay, so if you have here, for example, x1, you label x1, x2, x3, right? And if you double here the points, Okay, so this is this becomes x1, x2, x3. So the x2 becomes the x3. So the okay, so the coefficients are not the same. So it's not by doubling the points, you cannot directly okay derive an iterative method for for the Simpson. Okay, but uh, I mean you can do by multiplying by four the points. I think because then even correspond to even and odd to odd, but I didn't try it. But in any case, okay. Now we will give uh, an example, okay, or an exercise. So exercise, okay. So evaluate, the integral zero to pi over two, okay, sinus x dx using the um, Five points. Uh, okay. So zero pi over eight pi over four three pi over eight and pi over two. So this is x one x2, x3, x4, x5. Okay, here the h is pi over h. You can see the difference between the, the points. Okay, it's pi over h here. Okay, so because I have Four spacing, okay, equally spaced points. So pi over two divided by four, okay. So give me pi over eight. So and using, so we'll evaluate the using the following methods. Now we see rectangle. Left corner. Okay. Um, trapezoid. And Simpson. And evaluate the relative error with 
the exact solution. For each of the methods. Okay. So, um, OG, if I say A, B, C, and let's take A, the rectangle left corner. So, in the rectangle left corner, the integral is h the sum of xi with xi is going from 1 till n okay so here it's h is pi over 8 okay the sum of i is going from 1 till 4 of f of xi any okay pi over 8 by sine is zero is zero plus sine pi over eight plus sine three pi over eight plus sine pi over two. Ah, no, we don't take pi over 2, excuse me. Pi over 2 is the last point here, and we don't take it. It's 10 plus 1 point, so it's just these points. Right? It's the left corner, you can see the points and plus 1, so it's just these points. Okay, so what you get is... You get uh, for... A rectangle zero point seventy eight. Can calculate sine pi over eight. Let's open MATLAB and verify this. Okay. So normally you should get zero seventy eight. And now for the trapezoid. In the trapezoid, the integral is the first point plus the last point over two plus h time and the sum from i equals two to n f of x i and the, the rest of the points. Okay, this is by h over two. So. so this gives me here pi over eight, pi over 16 then, f of so x1 here is zero, so it's sine is zero, zero. So you get sine is zero plus sine is one, so sine is one. Uh, sorry, one, sine pi over two. So one. Plus h, the sum of i equals two till n, Okay, the rest here yeah, is sine pi over eight plus sine pi over four plus h sine pi over eight plus sine pi over four plus sine three pi over eight. Okay h here is pi over 8. And here you should get 0 0.97. So as you see here, uh, I forgot to calculate the here for the rectangle. Okay, I got here 0 0.78. Yeah, and in the relative error with the exact solution is 1, okay? The integration of sinus x from 0 to pi over 2, this is 1. Okay, so the relative error is 
1 minus 0 0.78 over 1. So you get 22% here. Okay. So, uh, <coughs> and here in this case, the relative error is 1 minus 0 0.97 over 1 is 3%. Okay, and now for the Simpson. Okay, for the Simpson, we have, I is H over three the first point plus the last point. Plus, okay, two times, okay, I write like this two times, the, the odd plus four time, the even. So basically here it's, Pi over eight over twenty-four. Okay. The first point here sine is zero, sine pi over two, so one plus two times the odd term. So the odd term here, okay, except the last term. So the odd term is just like sine pi over four. Okay. I have the x3 here. Okay. What I mean by the odd term is other than, than the first and the last point. So this is sine pi over four. Plus four times the even. Okay, the even are x2 and x4. Okay, so sine by over um, <coughs> sine pi over eight plus sine three pi over eight. Okay, so now if I calculate this, I get one point zero 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 one. As you can see, the Simpson is very, very accurate method. So you get 0.1% relative error here. Just with five points, okay, which is very, very, very small. So basically, uh, usually we take 100 points, so you will get the exact result. Even with 10 points with the Simpson, you get the exact result. Okay. دكتور نحن مش مسؤولين كيف نجيب السمسون ماتد مسؤولين نطبقها صح؟ yeah yeah okay so the rectangle okay we call it it's a first order method so we noted O H يعني the error is proportional to H, okay? The trapezoid is OH square, second order method, there is proportional to H square, it's more accurate, and the Simpson, it's, uh, sorry, the, the trapezoid is OH cube, and the Simpson is OH5, all right, it's proportional. Doctor, the left corner, we took the pi over 4, lash. Pi over 4? No, we put it in the calculation. Ah, yes, uh, it should. Here, yeah. okay. plus sign. Yeah, thank you. Yes.
and here also I forgot it. No, for the trapezoid. No, yeah, uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. All right, now it's correct. So for the rectangle, it's just like uh, left corner is these points, the right corner are these points. The trapezoid is half of this plus half of, of this, okay? Yeah, and the mean value of f of zero plus uh, f of x1 plus f of xn plus one plus the f, h, f, the other points. Now the Simpson is a little bit more uh, complicated. So it's h over three, the, the first point plus the last point plus two times the odd plus four times the even. All right, so these are uh, the basic units. 